video, um, Sarah's Gymnastics, I said um, I was going to make another video to show you how to do some of the moves, and I decided to only do basic stuff. And when we were looking, when I was looking at it, it said 100% bad by one view, so whatever. Do what you want. We don't care. If you just like yeah, this video, oh yeah. we don't care what you say. This is just for fun. I mean, we're not doing it because, well, like, we're doing it to teach y'all. But, like, if you already know, then, like, we don't, like, if you okay, already. Okay, we can't. <laughs> be quiet. Okay. Oh, one more thing. F you. <laughs> All right. Okay. JK. No, I'm not really. All right. So, we decided that we're only going to do basic stuff, like cartwheels and handstands and stuff. And maybe, maybe an aerial. It, it depends. I cannot do an aerial. If you don't know what an aerial is, it's a cartwheel with no hands. Yeah. How do you not know how to do an aerial? It's hard. Just how do you not know? It's hard. Okay. It's kind of like doing a back flip or a front flip. Did you say back flip or front flip? It's kind First of... First of all, it's either a layout or a tuck. Yeah. And there's a big difference. Alright. First we're going to do a right cartwheel. And um, then I'll demonstrate a left one because I'm more comfortable doing a left and she can't really do a left like I can. My toes. A right cartwheel um, is you start with your right foot out. And you're going to like push yourself and your hands are going to be about right here. They know how to do a cartwheel. You're going to kick yourself over. Well, for those who don't know, because I know a lot of people who can't do a cartwheel, they're all like... Okay. <laughs> no, that's, we're not doing that. Okay. So, right cartwheel. There's not a lot of room in here. Start from the corner over there. Oh. I thought I was going to kick that one or this. How about... Okay. Start from the corner over there and then, like, go like that. All right. Yeah. Don't kick your... Heel on the door, though. <laughs> or close the door. Oh, yeah. Well, then I'll just hit it on the wall. All right. Well, scoot up a little, then. Kind of leap, and then... That was a right cartwheel, and Michaela's going to show you a left cartwheel. Yeah. A left cartwheel is the same, except you start with your left foot, obviously. And that was a left cartwheel. All right. No, no legs. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you a thing that we call cartwheel handstand. It's where you go into a cartwheel like you're about to do a cartwheel, but you end up doing a handstand. So I can never do those. <laughs> when you're in your cartwheel, I can't do them that good. When you're in a cartwheel and you stop about right here with the legs in that area, you're going to do a handstand. We call those cartwheel handstands. Um, Michaela, you want to try? Um, I'm pretty sure I'll fail, but if I fail, then I'm just going to do a regular handstand. And if I fail that, then I'm just going to screw it up, and my BT does. My legs are, like, really sore, so, okay. Yeah, because I stretched her. Whoa, okay, that was as good as I could do. I didn't want to fall backwards, All so right. then I kind of bend my legs. Right. Now for the bended my legs. I'm not gonna do anything huge like walkovers or handsprings or anything because we really don't have room. But I'm gonna show you what she we She can't do them. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah, I can because I've been dancing <laughs> since I was three and danced since I was two. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, and starting September I'm gonna be on an elite dance team. You already said that in the other video. I know, but so, those of you who watched the Sarah's Gymnastics today, you know how they point the um, uh, competitions and stuff. And so, this is another move that um, we like to do in dance. It's called, um, it's the opposite of a leg up, which this is a leg up. Where you're in a bridge. I don't call it a bridge. I just call it a back bend. We call those leg ups. A back bend is when you stand up and put yourself in the back bend. 
I can do that. It's just, it, I'm just really sore. Uh, I can't do anything. Okay. I can't even walk that much. Probably can do that. Okay. And Not little kids, like toddlers. The opposite? We, it's kind of the opposite. So you're, you're kind of like that, and your leg is all the way up, like straight, kind of like you're in the splits, but standing up. Oh, yeah. I can't do the splits yet either. And that's embarrassing. So that's the one that we really like. I'm going to show you, um, we, we call them forearm stands because you're doing like a handstand on your forearm. I'm not going to do like a complete one. I'm just going to like show you how it works. Because if I do it and I like fall over, then turn the fan on. Okay. Thank you. Fan's on. <laughs> All these forearm stands, and when we're at competitions and we have a forearm stand in our dance, we put these um, we rub this cream on our forearms, like before, we, like right before we go on stage, like numbing cream. Yeah, so it kind of numbs them up because it really hurts to put all that pressure of your body weight on your forearms. So that's what we use. I don't have any of that, so I'm probably not gonna be able to do this. Oh, for those of you who know where I can get cortisone, I kind of need some of that. My wrist has been hurting really bad. Since yesterday. Actually, no. Since a long time ago. When I... Never mind. <laughs> it's like, we'll delete that later. <laughs> so, it's technically where you're on your forearm like this. And your hands are like in... I'll put that way. And you put your legs up, kind of like when you're in a chest stand. And for those of you who don't know what a chest stand is, Michaela can say you can't you, Michaela. No. Michaela's afraid to do one. It hurt my, it stretched my stomach, and now my stomach hurts really bad. <laughs> so you so think a lot. Like that, but they're all the way up. Thanks to her, I'm all sore from yesterday. You just kick them all the way up. Ta da! I'm not gonna do one. There's not enough room here. Can All you right. do the splits for yeah, us? I told you, I'm not gonna do anything. Oh. Right. And now I can't because I can't. I just can't lift these things. You want the dogs? Okay. No. They're gonna have to shut up though. Dogs are barking like crows or like ravaged dogs. Oh, and on the next video, we might we might upload a video of us playing with her bunny, Mason. Hey. Oh, yeah, we should. All right. <laughs> For those of you who um, have ever been involved in gymnastics or tumbling or cheerleading. Or dance. Or dance. Y'all probably know, um, y'all probably know, well, probably not dance. But you'll probably know what a salute is, right? And I showed you to it on the last video, but I'm going to show you how to do one. A salute is like this, and you do that before you do a trick and after you do a trick. So if I'm like in, let's say I'm at a gymnastics meet, and I'm doing my final tumble pass on my floor routine. I'm doing my final tumble pass. And I run and do round up that catch wing layout. And when I land that... I have to do a salute because I'm finished with my routine. So you do your salute, and that basically that means you you're glad that people are there watching you, and you're glad you're very appreciative of the judges. Shut up. It's a calendar, the talking calendar. Now that that's taken care of, proceed. <laughs> I'm gonna rip my hair out. It's like as you start talking, it starts talking. Anyways, what was I saying? Salute. All right. So when you salute, you salute audience, judges. So this is, would be your full salute. Like if you ever like watch the Olympics or whatever, then the they do that. The Olympics! Oh my God, I'm so excited for the gymnastics Olympics. 
I those, so want to see that. For those who are smart and know this, Sean Johnson is coming back to be in the 2012 Olympics. And those of you who don't know what Sean, who Sean Johnson is, you have major issues. Hey. I'm sorry, Michaela. No, wait. Is he like a swimmer? Sean Johnson's a girl. Oh. <laughs> sorry. And she's a gymnast. <laughs> sorry, Sean Johnson or whatever. I, I don't know. I didn't hear what Who was you... in the 2008 <laughs> Olympics? I didn't watch the 2008 Olympics. she's coming back to do 2012, hey? I'm sorry, well, I did I not. Well, Luke could get back. Then, I'm then... sorry, I did not know oh. who And for those, was... for those of you who watch Make It or Break It, your you face awesome. is like... Oh, I do sometimes. I love Make It or Break It. Too bad it's over. That's so depressing. I love Make It or Break It. Okay, you're going to finish the video? Yeah, I'm going to finish the video. So we watch Pretty Little Liars because I didn't watch a new one last night, so we're gonna have to watch it. And not last night, you know when, on Tuesday. So we're gonna. Tuesdays on ABC Family. Right. Tuesdays night on ABC Family. Cause it's recorded. Cause we watch can it. Record stuff on our TV. Anyway, so what were we doing? Yeah, salute. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, Michaela, you want to add anything to this? Um, um. The person that put 100% down, we're watching you. Mm hmm we're watching you. Ain't that right, Sarah? Mm hmm And that's my phone. Give it I back. I know. No, I'm doing something. Grr. Okay, that was no, it. No, don't end it. Don't <gasps> end it. And that was the end of that. Bye. Don't. Michaela. We're still going. Oh, my gosh. Hurry up. We're wasting. Oh, my Dance! God. Oh, okay, I see how it is. Like all of on Ant Farm. Oh, yeah. Okay, y'all, if y'all can't hear the music, then it goes like this. I'm into the beat, walking down the street in my new freak. Yeah, this is how I roll. Animal print pants out of control. It's Red Bull with the big ass bro. And like Bruce Lee, where I got the clout. I'm gonna end it. Bye. Say bye.